Are there any red flags that jumps out at you when it comes to diagnosing someone with Parkinson's? Well, when we think about red flags, sometimes we think about things that make you stop and say, wait a minute, is this classic Parkinson's, right? Mm -hmm. So there, there are the red flags, the things that make you think this is Parkinson's and the red flags that started out looking like Parkinson's but isn't. Mm -hmm. So as I said, Parkinson's is usually slowly progressive. So if I get the story of something changing very quickly over the course of months or early falls or significant cognitive problems, that raises a question because people can have elements of Parkinson's, what we call Parkinsonism, mm -hmm. but have something that's related but not quite the same thing, what we call these sometimes atypical Parkinsonian syndromes or atypical Parkinsonism. So, for example, early falls or double vision or uh, what we call autonomic instability where your blood pressure just drops the minute you stand up. These are things that give you pause about making this diagnosis. In terms of things that really go in favor of Parkinson's is uh, usually an asymmetry, so one side of the body being affected more than another. Again, a sort of slow, sort mm -hmm. of subtle progression. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, again, with, with that triad of, of motor features and with, without anything else that makes you go in a different direction on the exam. Now, if there were red flags to suggest an atypical form of Parkinson's, are the prognosis and the progression different for those conditions? Typically they are, and that's one of the main reasons that we, we try to identify who has Parkinson's disease mm -hmm. and who has something that looks like Parkinson's but is not. The response to medicine is going to be different, the tolerance to medicine might be very different, and the prognosis may be different. So it, it makes a difference. Sometimes it can be very hard in the beginning. A lot of these sort of mimics can mm -hmm. look very much like Parkinson's for the first two, three years Certainly. and then yep. start to differentiate. So it's not always so easy, but um, a lot of times we sort of start thinking they're one thing and if they start behaving in a different way, then we maybe have to revisit the diagnosis. And it, surprisingly, when you look at studies, even experienced neurologists mm -hmm. are, are sometimes fooled by what looks like Parkinson's ends up being something different.